Tough day. After the movie, I found myself obsessing over your character's backstory a little bit. I don't know if this is healthy or not, but and how she got her position at the RIPD. So we see Ryan Reynolds. He gets scooped up uh, from ascending to the great mm -hmm. beyond, and then poof, you're going to be a, a ghost cop. There you mm -hmm. go, in the afterlife. Do you think that Proctor also got scooped up of that funnel of dead souls oh, yeah. or whatever, and like, you're going to be a sergeant? Yeah. She uh, was, I, you know, wildly imperfect and flawed during life. And uh, <laughs> Robert and I had a, a lot of fun coming up with her backstory. And I had this whole elaborate thing about how she was um, a couch thief. She stole leather couches, which at the time nice. really made sense and made us laugh. I don't really remember why or what it meant or stood for, <laughs> but at the time it was, you know, wildly important. And I justified. totally got that from yeah. the movie. Absolutely got yeah. that from the movie. I'm sure it came across. I want to talk about her costume also, between the mini dress and the go-go boots. Mm -hmm. And I understand that you had a fair amount of input into what oh, yeah. you wore, right? Well, I had, I went a lot of different ways with her, and I at one point had this like Wild West woman from the 1880s, and it didn't really quite work. and. And then I found this picture of this forest ranger from 1968, like, I think. And it just felt really right, again, for many reasons, which I none of which I remember now at all. And I sent it to Robert, and I said, I think this is her. And he really liked it. And we found a sort of modern version of that. I was really happy with my choice, which you kind of have to be because you get one outfit when you're yeah. dead. At the center of RIPD, of course, are your two deceased lawmen characters, Nick, who's a hotshot present-day detective, Roy Pulsifer, who is this amazing hybrid of a rooster, Cogburn, and the dude. Were these characters fully formed by the time you saw them in the script, or did you each get to tweak them a little bit to suit your personalities? We had some, we got some tweaking there. We, yeah. We, we took a, like, a, what, was it a week, or was it two weeks we sat and tweaked? I mean, you know? Yeah, we had about two weeks, I think. Yeah, that was, that, that's just... kind of the fun part. You yeah. Know? You just kind of explore and think, what if I do this, and you do that, yeah. you know, we messed around. Yeah, the rehearsal that. process was yeah. great. Yeah. It also gave us a chance to just really hang out. And right. Get to know each other, and you right. know, chemistry is like—I don't believe it's something you can invent. It's there, or it's not, you know. So thankfully, it was there for the moment we met. Jeff, fans of your music and Crazy Heart will be happy to know that you both sing and play a pretty formidable squeeze box. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's an original tune that you that you wrote with T Bone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was that in the script originally, or was well, it like no? You know it was. What we're uh, I do? think Robert Swanky came up with this idea. He says, "What if you sing? You know, you you know, magically." You know, had this old squeeze box, and you start to sing. I said, I, first I said, oh, I don't know, and, and then I started to think about. It. I said, yeah, and my buddy T Bone, we can write this tip together. So we, you know, we did and presented it to him, and also uh, Phil, uh, Phil Hay, and uh, Matt uh, Man Manfredi, Man yeah. Manfredi also chipped in too. But yeah. we had a good time with it. As people who have seen the RIPD trailer know, uh, the living CU2, of course, represented as avatars played by uh, character actor James Hong and supermodel Marissa. Miller, how closely did you, or, or did they, I guess, have to match movements or blocking of the other duo? Was that ever an issue? Like, you've got a few, you're playing it for comedy a few times where you're mm -hmm. kind of working your feminine wiles, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. No, I tried to convince Robert that, you know, I, I like to wear makeup. We could actually make me up like a very attractive woman. And he said, you know, no, it just, that idea just didn't fly with him. So we got Marissa. I think he probably was a good choice. I, I personally would love to see you dressed up as a hussy. Oh, well, well. I'm okay. Nothing to see. Gotta go. 